seconds on the screen and I'm thinking what planet am I on? They're tearing us down but we're waking up, kind of missed the truth, kind of had enough. Watching all this hating, there's no reason, God help us all to start seeing. We were born for freedom. How do I know? Because like I said, I may indeed be a sneaker peeker. I tweet that all the time, don't I? I sneak and peek. I have what someone would say a device that allows me and has the ability to travel time and relative dimension in space. But that device is not an actual device. I don't have a vehicle. I don't have anything. I mean, I guess... I did have access to a special computer, but the best computer is a weapon hidden inside my mind, just like you have one between those six inches between our ears. For now, let's just call it fancy math. (laughs) A little bit out there for you? (laughs) Well, enjoy the ride. Let me demonstrate to you exactly what's at stake. The most amazing, the most incredible quantum computer is not sitting under the ice with huge data centers. It's the one that sits within those six inches between your ears. It is impeccable. It is driven by something they cannot match and replicate. And right now they're running you with ones and zeros. They're making you run in circles. And they're driving you in the direction that they want to drive you into. That's the thing. So always, as I say, pray. Pray that they do not any harm to you. And I say that with utter faith because, you know, I I feel like such a hypocrite sometimes. Okay, so I've said this many times. There are many times in my life that I've been put in a position where I can see that there's something bigger than us, that there is a collective good. I've studied all religions. I've met with spiritual leaders. I've, you know, I was always very curious and that it could be down to the upgrade, I guess, whatever that may be. But it wasn't until everything was being destroyed around me. Like if you can visualize it, The walls were still up, but the floor was gone from beneath my feet. Everything was an illusion. And I'm thinking, shit, I'm the one that created illusions for others all my life. And I've been living an illusion myself. This is crazy. And at that point, every single thing that my logical mind would do to fix it was taking and chipping away more floor from under me. I felt that I was being choked. I felt that a roof was coming down. The walls were closing in. I was going in this hole and I was thinking, what do I do? And that's at that point that I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do anything. God, take the wheel. Let's do it. And he did. And I, it was because I believed it. I didn't just say it. I didn't just say it. I then thought, well, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. And it was like, why didn't I wake up earlier? Because a blind man cannot see until he can. You can't see certain things until your eyes can actually interpret it and, and, and grasp it. And I'm, and I'm hoping that all of you understand that. And now uh, I just wanted to say that um, I, I wanted to make mention of what uh, your consciousness, how it's being hijacked. If you actually use those six inches, you know, between your ears, which is one of the largest computers ever, and embrace the fact that your DNA has history and eons worth of information that you just don't know how to tap into. Uh, things would be a lot simpler for you to see. Uh, You project your own reality. Many times I've said that I travel to the future. In my future or the timeline that I see is completely subjective to my perception or my point of view. And that is how it works. Now, somehow... 
think about it. Are you um, performing or acting or responding to stimuli uh, simply for self-preservation or are you trying to shape your future? Uh, You know, I'm not, you know, one of those fruity granola munching spiritual type people, but I can tell you that uh, from a scientific perspective, uh, you know, we resonate certain energies, right? Our cells do. They vibrate at all times. You know, contrary to popular belief, we're not a solid mass. We are a conglomerate of cells that are just very proximal to each other that gives us the illusion that we are solid mass. So we do vibrate at frequencies. There's a reason that I'm telling you this. Because the only way to spark and, you know, reboot that those six inches between your ears to be able to identify things as they are in their reality is difficult but not impossible see this is where we need to be using that noodle that space those full six inches between your ears should be used 100% but I've told you from day one I dabble in some fancy ass math And I've got a quantum computer between those six inches between my ears. Those six inches between your ears, right? Those six inches is where it sits. Those six inches. This is how we instantaneously can lift our pinky without even thinking. Because that's how rapid it is. This is how smelling something will trigger a memory from like, whoa, where'd that come from? Or make you feel something. And it's like, do computers feel... Do they get a feeling? No, they don't. But the human mind has the most intricate structure um, of communication. There have been so many papers where some people were like, yeah, your brain, there's cells in your brain that store memories. No, they don't. It's in your DNA. Your DNA, what they call junk DNA, is probably your memories. Because we don't know it. We just, oh, yeah, it's just junk. Because it gets cut out. Probably because when you're formulating a protein for your body to, I don't know, make another cell or kick off some signaling or make some vitamin D, I don't think you need the memory of you making chicken pot pies on the beach when you were a kid. So artificial intelligence, like I said on my New Year's show, is was key for this year. Key because this is how it happens you strip people of their ability to understand to know what's true and what's fake it's done you already don't know what's true and what's fake the fake news the orchestrated life the orchestrated day that you're having is all driven by media advertisements uh you know music movies hallmark today for sure When are you in control? When are you able to discern what is really going on? When do you lift that veil and look under the bed and be like, oh gosh. Or you know that forgotten pot, I've done this, in the corner of your kitchen (laughs) that is growing something Marie Curie would be envious about. That's, That's the time. That's what we need to start doing. Using a little bit of the six inches between our ears. I'll see you all in a bit. The mathematics that I do, the equations that I execute in predicting situations, the one thing you cannot take as a very as a solid or absolute, I would say, variable or treat it as such, is humans. Humans cannot be taken in as such. They have to be treated as nodes because they are so highly variant because you don't know what goes on in someone's head and you will never know. And why? Because the biggest quantum computer, the best quantum computer on this planet is sitting in between those six inches between your ears, right? Those six inches is where it sits. The same happens to every single person that speaks the truth. Why? Because they have the power to do that. I mean, only people that can use 
Those six inches between their ears can discern fact from fiction. This is where you need to pay attention. You have to pay attention to where you get your information. And I say it again, you don't have to get it from me or anyone specific. You need to be able to use those six inches between your ears and discern what's fact and what's fiction. And the reason I say this is because the best quantum computer is uh, located within those six inches between your ears. Better than a whole continent packed with servers. Because the decisions that are made are ones and zeros and not based on, I want to say, love. So, and this is why it's difficult. This is why uh, people struggle. So, so you guys know, I like Tony Robbins a lot. Um, and it was interesting how he sat down and interviewed Uh, the first um, actual non-living artificial intelligence computer that has become a citizen in Saudi Arabia in 2017. On Valentine's Day, speak about love, right? Um, Sophia was activated. Sophia. Sophia in Greek means wisdom. And uh, Sophia is just what you're allowed to see. There are tons of Sophias everywhere. At one point, your AI profile, profile, and I said that in my New Year's thing, is you. you. And it's going to be considered more important than you, regardless. And it's not going to take into consideration growth or spiritual growth or, you know, owning your mistakes. Your AI profile is supposed to shame you for your mistakes. It's supposed to make you submit for your mistakes. That's the point. And whatever is manufactured against you, that's even worse. So remember, next time we take hits and stabs at people, we should always remember that, you know, it's going to come a day when it's going to come at you. The life, the America that we've been living in for more than 200 years has been an illusion upon an illusion upon an illusion, even though it started with pure clarity of the people being in control. It started with a revolution of people that were bold, that were excited about creating their own future. And everyone has now starting to see that from before the ink was dry, they were finding ways to destroy that. But first, They had to milk you you and take you for everything you've got to give to make their lives easier step by step. So they're using you to annihilate the world in essence. And that should make someone very angry, but once you accept it, then it's completely okay. You accept it and you're like, okay, I accept this happened. So let's let's not have it happen again. How do we fix this? That's what we need to be doing because, ah, oh, that's a very good quote. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. CQ, CQ, this is W9GFO here. Come back. <laughs>